Hi, in this video, I'm going to solve two questions related to linear motion by applying kinematic equation. Okay, so this is the three kinematic equation that all of you need to remember. Let's try the first question where we have a rest car starting from rest. So u equal to zero, that is the initial velocity. And it accelerates at a constant rate. A equal to 5 meter per second squared. Then what is the velocity? So the question asks to find the velocity and it has traveled 30.5 meter. So that is the displacement. So for the second question, it asks to find the time. And for question C, okay, the same situation but now the driver slam on the brake. This means the initial velocity for this question is actually the final velocity that we obtain in question A, okay? And since the car will stop, so the final velocity for this question will be 0 meter per second and the time taken for it to stop is 4 meter per second, okay? And the question asks to find the acceleration, okay? And the distance travel as well as the average velocity. Okay, let's start with A. Okay, where the information given in the question are A equal to 5 meter per second square, U equal to 0 meter per second, and S equal to 30.5 meter. So the question asks to find the final velocity that is V. Okay, so the equation that we can apply is okay, so V square, okay equal to u square plus 2as okay so now substitute all the information given into the question above okay so we have v equal to square root 0 square plus 2 times 5 times root 30.5 Okay, so the final answer for the final velocity will be 17.46 meter per second. Okay, for question B, okay, it asks to find the time elapsed. Okay, for the car to travel 30.5 meter. Okay, so the equation that we can use is V equal to U plus AT. So we arrange the equation, we get T equal to V minus u over a so we substitute all the information given into the question and we get 3.49 second okay proceed with question c where the final velocity obtained in question a is now become the initial velocity for this question okay so we have u we have t equal to 4 second and we have the final velocity to be 0 meter per second as the car will finally stop okay so the equation that we can apply to calculate the acceleration will be v minus u over t so we get the answer to be negative 4.37 meter per second square this means the car decelerate and for the second question where we want to find the distance travel so we use s equal to ut plus half a t square and substitute all the uh, information given so we get 34.88 meter and the final question we want to find the average velocity so it is the distance travel divided by the time interval and we get 8.72 meter per second okay let's have a look at question 2 where we have a motorist that traveling at 10 meter per second down a street so this means it travel at a constant speed okay and we have a policeman on a motorcycle taking another five seconds to finish his donut and give chase at an acceleration of two meter per second square okay five second left compared to the motorist okay so we need to find the time required to catch the motorist okay and for question b we need to find the distance the policeman travel while overtaking the motorist okay so we're going to sketch 
the situation first in terms of time interval. Okay, so the policeman is five second late compared to the motorist. Okay, so motorists have traveled five second earlier compared to the policeman. So okay. when the question asks to find the time required to catch the motorist, this means the motorist and the policeman are at the same distance. So let's list the information given first. So for the motorist, okay, we have U for motorist equal to 10 meter per second and since it's moving with constant velocity, so the acceleration for the motorist will be 0 meter per second square. Okay, and the time for the motorist will be the time for the policeman plus with 5 seconds since the motorist has traveled 5 seconds earlier than the policeman and for the policeman the acceleration is 2 meter per second square and the initial velocity for the policeman is 0 meter per second as it starts from rest Okay, done listing all the information given, so let's solve the problem. So when the policeman, okay, able to catch the motorist, this means that the displacement for the policeman and the motorist are the same or equal. They meet at the same point, okay? So we can assume that SPM equal to SP. So, write the equation involved, that is, S equal to UT plus half AT square. Okay, so now, write equation for the displacement for the motorist. Okay, substitute all the information given. Okay, we left with SM equal to UMTM. That is 10 times with TP plus 5. So we get expression for SM to be 10 TP plus 50. And for the displacement for the policeman, we have UP TP plus half AP TP square. Okay, so we left with half AP TP square. Okay, so for SP, we have TP square. So now we can substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So we get tp square minus 10 tp minus 50 equal to 0. So solve this quadratic equation, we get 13.66 second or negative 3.66 second. Since, them, since time is a scalar quantity, okay? So we must take the positive value, okay? And next, we solve question B, where we want to find the distance travel by the policeman. So we substitute the answer we obtain in A into equation number 2. So we get the final answer for the displacement to be at 1 at 6.6 .6 meter.